The doctor explains when do HIV symptoms show. Hello. Welcome back to Mark Medicals. In today's video, I will tell you exactly when to expect symptoms of HIV or AIDS after potential exposure. In this video, I will talk about the following. 1. Early HIV symptoms. 2. Late stage HIV, AIDS symptoms. 3. HIV phobia and false symptoms. 4. How long can you live with untreated HIV? And finally, 5. Maximum HIV testing window period. Before I go further with this video, I need to clarify this important thing. There is nothing like HIV symptoms unless you have HIV and tested positive. Lots of you guys keep complaining on this channel that you tested negative yet you continue to experience HIV symptoms. From my own experience, you will continue experiencing false HIV symptoms just because you have another disease or because you have HIV phobia or other anxiety disorders. If you think you still have symptoms, see a doctor and have him test you for other diseases, other than HIV. You can also consider seeking psychosocial counseling from a psychologist. Alright. HIV or human immunodeficiency virus is the virus that progressively destroys your immunity leading to AIDS. What I need to remind you is that AIDS is not a disease but a collection of many infections that take advantage of your body, once your body's defenses have been destroyed by the virus. If left untreated, you may live for 10 to 20 years with HIV. But, on the other hand, treated HIV has no harm to the clients, and their life expectancy is no different from HIV-negative counterparts. HIV symptoms can appear at different times depending on the individual and the stage of the infection. Here are some key points from the search results. Acute HIV infection, most people infected with HIV experience a short, flu-like illness that occurs two to six weeks after infection. This is called acute retroviral syndrome or primary HIV infection. Symptoms of early HIV infection can include fever, sore throat, body rash, fatigue, headache, and muscle and joint pains. These symptoms usually last one to two weeks but can be longer in a few individuals. According to research, it's estimated that up to 80% of people who are infected with HIV experience this flu-like illness in the first two to four weeks. Chronic HIV infection. After the initial symptoms disappear, HIV may not cause any further symptoms for many years. In fact, many people out there living with the virus have absolutely zero symptoms. During this time when an individual has almost zero symptoms, the virus continues to be active and you will continue spreading the virus. Symptoms of chronic HIV can vary, ranging from minimal to more severe opportunistic infections. Also during the chronic stage of HIV infection, some people may experience episodes of coughing or breathing difficulties, unintentional weight loss, diarrhea, fatigue, and high fever. Asymptomatic HIV infection, some people may not experience any symptoms for years after being infected with HIV. Even though they feel fine, the virus is still active in their body and they can still transmit it to others. It's important to note that having these symptoms does not necessarily mean you have the HIV virus, as they can be caused by other conditions. If you're concerned that you might have been exposed to HIV, talk to your healthcare provider about getting tested. If you want to know things to do with HIV window period, here we go. If you tested using antibody-only HIV testing kits, your results will be accurate or conclusive beyond 90 days and onwards. On the same note, your test results from a fourth-generation HIV testing kit will be conclusive beyond 45 days. Finally, HIV RNA testing kits like a PCR have the shortest testing window period and will give you conclusive results beyond 33 days.